this young student, a young African-American lady, who by the way was attending our school because of school choice in Louisiana, turned to me and said, Dr. Roberts, we're gonna do it. And I said, Tiana, what do you mean? She said, we are going to see Roe v. Wade overturned in our lifetime. And I said, Tiana, I think you're gonna see that in your lifetime. I'm not sure that I will see it. She said, no, sir, it's going to happen sooner than you think. In spite of all of the challenges, all of the mistakes we've made, all of the injustice and evil that comes from human nature, that 50 years of hard work, of praying, of sacrifice, of women and men healing from poor decisions they made, could in fact be redeemed in a political and legal arena with, by the way, a legal opinion that I think is the most sound and the most beautiful and logically argued in the history of jurisprudence. America is alive and well, that's what I would say. We're gonna win some state battles, we're gonna lose some state battles, but the trajectory to sum up here is upwards. We need to have that same commitment to education, because once we do that and we root out the indoctrination that's happening in our schools, we root out the injustice of defining people by their skin color with critical race theory, and then we get back to American schools just being in the top 20 in terms of reading, math, and writing achievement, we're now only in the top 70 as if that's even a ranking, then I think we can be sure that America has turned the corner from this dark age and that we can, as I truly believe, you know this, Jonathan, we can enter not the final chapter in American civilization, but a golden era that came from this redemption.